Hello everyone, welcome to anubavtrainings.com. Welcome to the part 7 of this video series on how to automate SAP Fiori applications. In this video series, we are learning about how to create end-to-end -end automation tests using open source Selenium and automate your Fiori applications end-to-end. -end. In the last video, we have discussed about navigation to a Fiori app with a dynamic weight and clicking on the tile. In this session, we will look at our application which we are going to automate and also we will learn about intent-based navigation. So as you can see here, our intent-based navigation, this is a second navigation technique. In the last session, we talked about navigation using clicking on a tile, but now we are moving towards intent-based navigation. Why we use intent-based navigation is because of its speed. So rather than looking and searching for an element on the screen after logon page is completed, you can right away jump to the application under test without really waiting for the tile to come. So what we do is we go back and look at our application under test. So I have already added an application under test here called manage product. This application was built by us as part of our UI5 and Fiori course. I would strongly encourage if you have not taken our UI5 and Fiori training, please go ahead to anubavtrainings.com and subscribe it today. So we'll open this application and how do we find now the intent of this app? So if you quickly go on the top, you can see here the intent of our application. An intent of a Fiori application is built by two components. As you can see, both of these components are separated by a separator called dash or hyphen. So an intent based navigation composed of these two components called semantic object hyphen action. The semantic object will be responsible for showcasing or explaining about the business object used for the purpose. This is maintained as part of V underscore system semantic object SEM OBJ customizing and also the action will explain you about what is the purpose of the transaction or purpose of the app. So for example sales order is your semantic object and now the purpose to work with the sales order could be display so you can have sales order hyphen display as one app then you can have change sales order hyphen change or create so these could be different different actions opening different applications for the sales order purpose. Let's go ahead and now understand how can we directly use our script code which we had created in the last session to perform the intent based navy. So now I switch to our Eclipse development environment and you can see here this piece of code which we have done last time in the last session was more of towards handling the tile click by looking and waiting for the tile to open or tile to be visible and then clicking on the tile. I would comment out this piece of code. So I can also maintain a commented comment here. The below code was used to click on the tile to navigate. The easier way now to navigate to the system under test or application which we want to test is using semantic object hyphen action. This is called intent based navigation. So for that maybe I'm going to go back and write a reusable method here. So let me go ahead and write an another method over here. So we call it as a public uh, or private static method. And I will say open app. And in this I will take probably three argument. One is a string with the uh, or one is the web driver object. Second argument is the semantic object or I will call it as a string of intent. And we're going to write this code. So what you simply got to do is take the driver and read the 
um, or directly hit the current intent so for that what we're going to do is we will take the URL so the logic will be we will read the URL which is currently open we will remove hashtag shell home from the URL and replace that with our hashtag semantic object hyphen action which is nothing but the intent these are all the three steps we will be using okay and of course I'm going to now call this over here open app we pass the driver object and I will write now hard code our semantic object over here let's go back to our application and I will quickly go back on the top and pick up the intent which is here copy this intent and paste it this is a very good example of a modularization so I'm going to come down now and over here what we will do is we will just quickly uh, first of all get the current URL so we have already our driver object and I'm going to take the current URL in a string variable and we can say driver dot get current URL so this will is a selenium method which will give you the URL and now we're going to call the replace to replace our hashtag which is shell home with the new intent which we are receiving as an input parameter and once this is done our URL is ready we are simply going to take driver dot navigate dot to and my URL fantastic so the moment your application loads we also don't need this guy anymore because we don't need to wait as long as login is complete we can immediately switch to open app directly so let us go ahead and execute this code now and it is going to launch our browser as usual and first it navigates to the Fury Launchpad and there you go and now you get a kind of an error called session timed out the reason of this error is you're trying to do something or trying to navigate to another another um, another browser URL without system itself loading the DOM so in that case it's too fast to execute the next statement so maybe we would like to add kind of a very short delay which is a hard coded delay for about two seconds into the code so I'm going to go back and I will just about the open app add a thread dot sleep more of a hard coded weight in my script and also just missed out one interesting thing here we need to get the replaced URL ultimately back again to this variable yeah and let's give a try now I execute again and let's see what happens so now we have about a two second delay right after the login we are not going to replace and immediately call the target URL immediately rather we're just going to hold up for about two seconds which is kind of okay at least let the system breathe uh, right after the login and then only we will probably navigate so about a two second and now you can see voila you can see it has loaded our application our hashtag is now up out there and the application is ready so that was about semantic navigation or intent based navigation using selenium if you feel that these videos are helping you and you want me to create more videos like this feel free to subscribe this channel and like with that Anubo signing out thank you so much and I will catch you up in the next session